All right, today I'm gonna to recreate the Shake Shack burger. Got the Martin's Rolls, best rolls in the game. Some 80-20 beef. Got the processed cheese, tomatoes, bib lettuce. I'm gonna do a little variation with some fried onions. And then of course the Shake Shack sauce, which I'm getting lazy. I'm just gonna use Thousand Island. Big shout out to Kamado Joe for hooking up the new firebox warranty. My other one cracked, but uh, very thankful. Thanks Kamado Joe sponsor me all right we just lit the joe gonna let that go let those coals go uh just replace my firebox uh under warranty my old one was a solid piece given in the original joe but um it was cracking so sent a picture in the kamado joe shout out to kamado joe sending me the new one the other day looking forward to uh checking this bad boy out we'll come back in a couple minutes when this thing gets fired up all right it looks like this fire starting to catch you can see down there deep those coals are starting. We use a little wax, uh, uh, these little wax things I get off of Amazon, and uh, it's better than having lighter fluid on your food, of course, and especially with the Joe. This thing will, will catch pretty good. As you can see, I got my vent here fully open. We'll let this go for a couple more minutes, and then we'll drop our grate in. Today, we're gonna be cooking on a cast iron flat surface so we can get those smash burgers, get that nice crust on there. We'll be back in a few minutes once this thing gets going. Some Vidalia onion, nice and thin on the mandolin. I want to slice my fingers off. Eek. There you go. Oh yeah. Got those Martin's rolls. Got my son Peyton here. Say hi, Peyton. Hi. Put a little bit of butter on there. Get these things on the griddle gotta have the toasted bun yeah that's what makes that burger extra special all right what do you say pipes oh my goodness all right pay you ready put them on the griddle come back in a couple minutes see those bad boys nice and toasted and uh, we're over here with our kamado joe got this thing climbing got our 80 20 beef got our vidalia onions and uh, we're gonna get going. Looking forward right, to hey, it. Check those buns, see where we're at. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. All right, we're at 425. I think we're good to go. We're gonna burp this bad boy so we don't burn our face off. Oh yeah, we got our griddle. Hey, get in there, see those nice coals. All right, so we're gonna put our burger patties on here. 80-20 uh, beef. Ooh, hear that sizzle. We're only gonna do like four at a time. Let me get some salt and pepper tape. All right, pepper. Always got to season each side. Throw some onions on there. So one of the things that you definitely got to use is the parchment paper, so it doesn't stick on your spatula. Oh, Let me smash one real quick, Pete. Oh yeah. Try one without the paper. So you see how it sticks sometimes. You just gotta be creative with it. So my wife does not care for the onions on there, but me and Peyton, I'm gonna do the fat onions on there. Let this bad boy go for a couple minutes and we'll flip them over. All right, so you definitely gotta burp that grill. You don't want that flame to come up. Oh man, we are looking good. So we're just gonna season real quick before we flip them and a little bit more salt and pepper. Peyton, get in there on those other burgers. They're the ones mom likes without the onions. Yeah, a little bit more pepper. Always got to season each side. All right, let's see if we get that crust baked. Ready? Oh yeah, smash burgers with that good crust. You can only get that from that cast iron. Now nah, we'll we'll flip them over with the onions. She's missing out, Kate. Right? Yeah. All right, let's uh, cheese them up real quick. Let them go. 
definitely got to use the Velveeta processed cheese. I don't care what anybody says. The best on a burger. Get some more paint. All right, we'll close it up. See how this thing goes. Put some more onions on here for our next batch. All right, couple minutes. Right, let's pull these bad boys off. Oh yeah. Right, watch out, bud. I'm just gonna put these on the plate real quick. Yeah, boy. These are the ones for mama. Onion's looking good too. Yeah, we gotta keep those bad boys going for the next batch. Let's go in and assemble a burger, all right? All right, let's uh, assemble this burger. Being a little lazy today, so instead of using shake sauce, homemade, we're gonna use Thousand Island, but you're okay with that, right, Pete? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta do it on both sides here. Nice toasted bun. All right, let's move that in. Oh yeah. Bomb.com. So let's take these burgers. So the only thing different from the Shake Shack burger is we added onions, which we gotta have the onions. All right, Pete. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble it. A little bit of bib lettuce. Some Roma tomatoes. Oh yeah. All right. Look at that bad boy. All right, Pete. First taste test, let's see what you got. It's one juicy burger. Better than Shake Shack? 100%. What do you like about it more than Shake Shack? The bun, the bun and the caramelized onion stew. That makes it. Good. All right, so we got Pseudo Sue out of Iowa. We got our stunt burger, I already ate one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Let's crack this bad boy open, Pete. Man, it's got like some juicy notes to it. Hazy. Give it a quick little swirl. It's probably about 5.8% alcohol. Come back in a second once that settles and I will drop that beer. So, ready to taste this beer. Couldn't wait, as you can see. Got into that burger, delicious. All right, got a nice haze to it. Nice pillowy uh, head. Dude, this beer is absolutely delicious. I recommend it with a burger, wings, anything. Um, but honestly, wow. Get in close, Pete, for Skylar. <laughs> like thin patties. Thick patties are for dickheads. You're overcompensating. For yeah, you're, 